On day two of the 2023 Tel Aviv Grand Slam, the crowd eagerly awaited the arrival of their local hero, former world champion Sagi Muki. Muki was looking back to his best in the under 81 kilos qualifiers. And after a stunning semi-final victory, the crowd dared to believe. And the stadium erupted when, after just 12 seconds of the final, he floored Turkey's Veda al Bayrak to secure his first gold since his World Championship triumph back in 2019. And after receiving his medal from Moshe Ponte, the president of the Israeli Judo Association, Muki had a message for his fans. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. To see this, the love from the Israeli crowd is so important to me, to know that they appreciate my way and all the efforts, all the hard work, everything is worth for them, for their support, for their love. At under 63 kilos, Catherine Bosham and Pinar's impressive arm lock on Cuba's Malin del Toro Carvajal gave Canada yet another gold. <laughs> Vlad Merinescu, the IGF Director General, gave out the medals. Yeah, the crowd here is amazing too. And it's a lot of a mental game. So I think I, I work on that and like see like the error I did in Paris and correct it here and they work pretty well. Switzerland's Neil Stump completed a day of surprises by reaching the under 73 kilos final, where he overcame German veteran Igor Wandke in golden score extra time to take his second Grand Slam title. George Tessalono, a guest of the IJF, awarded him his medal. At under 70 kilos, Francis Margot Pinot took gold with victory over Germany's Miriam Butkeret. IGF guest Cosmin Balkassian gave her her medal. It was another unforgettable day of judo, with plenty for the home crowd to cheer about. And they'll be hoping for more of the same on day three.